Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix. And welcome back, starting with level 11 of Seth Bling's new map, 15 seconds. Um, it took me a long, 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 long time to get through level 10 on this go-around in the proper snapshot. Uh, this one, I don't know what he calls it, but I call it the long jump, or the triple jump, either way. It's level 11, and it's kind of interesting because these white blocks speed you up on this otherwise extremely slow slow sand or soul sand whoop right through got it though um so therefore i did that one in a pretty quick time frame this level however is fun it's um it's like playing mario and he put little goombas and stuff in there that one hit and they kill you they're the baby zombies they do look like goombas which is cool this first one you can like block there's the, the pipes and everything in here. Now, the interesting thing about this level is there's also an upper layer that you can get to. And this level, this game is, it's pretty much impossible. Um, I tried it and tried it and tried it for a very long time until I figured out the secret. Um, whoop, I accidentally just did the secret. And I don't even know if I'm still going to be fast enough right now to get it which I'm not because I wasn't jumping but if you jump into that pipe it teleports you to the end which is the only way that you can possibly do this fast enough and unfortunately even that being the case I, I think I got it I did but now folks this is the level that I will show you old footage from. I don't know what this one is. Um, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to swish? Because if you hit the edge, you die. I have a feeling I'm supposed to get... Oh. So it's to sink the hole. I could be wrong, though. I'm never going to find out if I keep missing, though. Watch well, it be one of those levels where you're supposed to turn around. Okay, that obviously wasn't it. Well, everybody figured something out. You need to be using the latest snapshots. That has some of these slime blocks in this game. <laughs> oh no, I didn't get the jump enough. Um, yeah, so it was missing a piece of it because I was using the incorrect version of the game. Which does make me wonder what else I have uh, missed out on. The fact that I was able to pass every other level, I'm assuming... Oh, shoot. I'm assuming uh, means I didn't miss out on much. The only reason I actually realized that is I went to, uh, I looked up uh, a YouTube search for Seth Ling's 15 seconds and saw that somebody had already posted playing this game. And I went to this level to see what I was doing wrong and realized that they uh, had these green slime blocks where I had empty space. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> what can you jump off of the slime blocks, or do you have to just let them carry you? See, because if I if I let them carry me, I need to I need to catch the second one. Oh, see, look, a timer is actually working as well now. So the whole my whole playing of this might not even be. A successful playthrough but that's okay I mean I might play through it again because like I said some some of the times I knew I think I was over by 50 or over the 15 second mark which makes things more difficult so that explains my reasoning why 
Though this one is difficult because I can't seem to get the jump right. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I... It. <laughs> hit that, hit that. Uh, oh, my, I made it. Oh, God. I'm not, I'm never going to make that. Okay, guys, hundred of the tenth. Let me let me speak. Bleh. I'm over a hundred attempts now at this without success. I have twice been able to, maybe three times been able to get to this point, to which, uh, if I jump, I die when I hit those blocks. If I don't jump, I don't make it. So I don't know, even with the correct snapshot, exactly what I'm supposed to do. Wait, wait. No! Oh, <laughs> so close. Go, baby. Why are you taking damage? No! No! I don't even know if you can physically do this fast enough. Because if you just keep holding forward to give yourself enough momentum, I mean, it takes, you go, you end up going off the pad or you die like that. I mean, I'm sure this really is physically possible, but from my perspective, it definitely does not feel that way. Because I mean, that was, oh my God, that was almost perfect. I'm so close. I can't give up now. shot from the very beginning get there oh god 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 
I can't I can't get any closer than that. Somewhere. I mean, then I just took damage off of that as well. And then I just somehow took damage on the slime block. Damage in those areas doesn't help. This. Why would I die hitting a slime block? <laughs> oh. Oh no, bull. I did it! I did it! Oh, 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 oh my god. I so did it. 
Only took 200 and, or 100 and some odd tries. This is what I'm not going to do right away. Well, let's find out what, what I'm supposed to do in this one. Looks like you're just supposed to climb the landscape in some fashion. I'm wondering if there's like a better path than... I mean, this one got me pretty far. I just still unfortunately don't know where the end is. It's over there. Okay, so I'm not too far off of this one. Oh, those we those weeds definitely are okay, those weeds are not the way. If I can get over here without hitting the vines. Then start marching my way to the right. So I gotta avoid the vines, avoid the vines. Oh shoot, I hit the wall. Crap. So this is, is there a better path than that, I wonder? Well, obviously the one hitting all those vines isn't one. Is there a secret over here or anything? Nope, just a sheer cliff face. Farther than I've gotten in the past. I got real close that time, and I actually hit some of the vines as well. So you get really, really fast. It's almost as if you have to re re-hit the double forward after pretty much everything that you do. Did I get it? Did it? Oh, a horse. <laughs> Oh man, he put the works into this game. That's crazy. Hmm. <laughs> awesome. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're on the next level of Seth Blings. Oh no, I'm not going to make it. I don't have any idea how well to use a horse. Gotta, I think you got to do a perfect jump on this one. Which I'm probably not going to be able to do that well. But we're going to try it anyway. Oh, I can't even get that jump. Well, I made it. Okay, so this is going to be a tough one. Like, this is going to involve perfect skills. And running into walls like that is not, oh no, is not going to be helpful. Hmm. No! wonder if there's an easier way to run around these walls. 
I've never been that good with the horses anyways, let alone when you have to do them perfectly. Yeah, you definitely need a perfect jump. Well, I guess it's not quite perfect to jump on this one. Oh, it's actually not... It's not terribly far. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Oh. So close. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh. Shoot. So close. Not doing the skip cuz we're going to make this. Oh no. I guess you just have to be in the uh, orange area. You don't have to have a perfect jump. Just, just skating around those gates at the end. Now that I'm getting the hang of this, is uh, is getting to be difficult. Come on, baby. I think I did it. I think I did it. I did it. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> that ain't going to help me. Let's just see where I have to go here. So this is obviously Ender Pearling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I got confused when I hit the button and I uh, started uh, spewing Ender Pearls all over the place. And I must have stopped the recording on accident. Whoops. Yeah, if you hold this, it like throws a bunch of ender pearls all at one time, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I think by clicking and holding, I'm... Oh, I'm doing myself a, a great injustice here, because it's... So I need to get perfect ender pearl shots, which apparently I'm not that good at. So you don't really have that far to go. I'm wondering if you can sequence break this with some ender pearls. Oh no, you died too fast. Okay. Oh no, I made it and then I fell off the edge. Oh no. Yeah, I guess you, there's no reason to try to run... Uh, oh, no, no, no. I think I, I used the, the respawn on accident. Oh, because it took up slot one instead of slot two. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, uh, let's go back here. How do I go back? How do I go back? Um, that's a lot of lava falls. I don't want to play this level yet. Hold on. Okay, guys. That was, that was rough. You, um, if you accidentally pass the level, apparently there's no easy way to go back. I tried to put myself into creative mode. And fly back here, and it didn't work. So I put myself in a creative mode and flew to the end of the last level and clicked the button, and apparently it just skips. So I ended up skipping ahead all the way just to the end. I flew to the end, and there's a level select at the end. So, oh, so I was able to do a level select and put myself back into line. I just, I don't like the fact that the, uh, the skip is going to take over the shoot, shoot, shoot. No. I think I hit this pad. Yeah, this one this one actually doesn't seem too time concerned concerned rush like. Um as long as you hit it right. So watch out, I'm gonna get my skip in a minute. So now I gotta go to two. Just remember you gotta start at slot two all the time on this level if you don't wanna accidentally skip it. Get there. Oh, look how close I was, and I screwed up, too. Oh, I missed. I hit the end. Yeah. That might be something that um, I'll talk to Seth and see if he can if he can fix. And now I'm stuck in a thing. <laughs> well, I'm stuck in the block. Guess I'll die momentarily anyway. 
Apparently you can't die from fall damage in this one, which is probably a good thing. I almost skipped again as well. Whoa. Oh no! Okay, there's one. Oh no, I I completely missed. You got to you got to be a lot higher than it seems like you would have to be to make this work. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus, lava falls? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Is there a rhyme or reason or pattern to this or or do you just get lucky and run like I am? Holy crap. Am I really? Oh, no. That is so far to go. Just duck and dive. Dip, dodge, duck, dive, and dodge. Oh, no. I, I stopped running. Crap. I'm not going to make it. I think it's, like, literally so far away that you, you have to, like, not run or... I don't know if there... I really don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to this. If there's a path. I seem to just be doing pretty well... Pretty well with this um, technique. Not perfect. <laughs> well, obviously. Maybe it's getting worse. Um, that first time, man. I almost made it all the way to the end there. Oh. I mean, if I can... Can I look up? Will that help? Nope, that will not help you at all. That will just make you really tripped out, is what that'll do to you. <laughs> oh, this one's this one's fun. I just... Ow. I wish there was a known path. Maybe I'm just missing it. I, there very easily could be this path that you're supposed to be taking that I'm... Oh, just not. But, I mean, either way, it's kind of fun to randomly attempt to go across and see what happens. I actually think, according to Seth Bling himself, actually, that you go faster by going diagonally. I'm not sure you actually make more progress going diagonally. I think the speed boost is probably based on that you're covering, in theory, you know, the diagonal of a triangle, the, you know, the, um, the, oh my god. Why can't I remember what that thing is called? Oh, man. The hypotenuse? Yeah, the hypotenuse of the of the triangle is, you know, longer than either one of the sides. But the distance, if I went left and then straight, would be a greater distance. And covering diagonally, I think, is getting you the same blocks forward in your direction. Which is why I think that there's a speed increase. So I don't think I'm actually making more making up more ground. In theory, with that being the case, I'm covering more blocks with a little bit of speed, which would, I guess, make me possibly in the pathway of lava more likely, because I'm technically in like two squares at once. And either way, either one, a lava block could kill you on. I don't know. I don't know if that's the way it works or not, but either way, speed up time. Wow. I ran straight forward and made it. That was interesting. Um, hello. <laughs> is this a trolley one or is there really a way to do this? There must be some block somewhere on the edge. No? Because you can't get to the gate, so there must be an invisible pathway somewhere that you have to take. It's not that block. I think you have to jump? No? Huh? So it's not directly left or right. Let's try back here. No, it's not that way. Let's try back this way. Nope, it's not that way. There's got to be something in this level, right? I, I already tried that one. Here, how about this? I'm going to get a... Can I throw it? 
No, you can't throw it. That was obviously not where to go. Well, I don't know why I followed it. In theory, this would give me... Oh, I can't skip anymore because I threw it away. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's not it. Um, so it's not jumping. Do you think it's a time thing? Do you think the wall goes away like near the end of the time? Or just keep pushing forward? No. That obviously wasn't it. Oh! <laughs> Did it! <laughs> so you hold forward and don't get on the pad. Yay! The end! Level select! Woo! Woo! I did it! I've already been here before because, like I said, I had to skip all the way to the end. And no, I didn't look at the courses ahead of time. I had to skip all the way to the end to do this. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Well, Seth Bling, fantastic game. I might play this a little bit on my own just for fun. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. I'll probably put this video together and then put a video together of just me finishing each one of the the courses uh, just so it's a quick way to look at it all obviously not in order i'm just going to splice all my footage together but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time